Hello everybody, I am All Around Gamer and I'm back with another commentary. Guess what we're going to talk about today? Parents. And uh, video games. So, this is definitely going to be all over the place. I can almost guarantee it. Uh, I've had, I've really had this on my mind for a while now. You know, usually coming up with it at the worst possible time. Never had a chance to really write it down. But today we're going to be talking about this generation of kids and the parents that were, that are, uh, you know... Raising us. Where do I even start with this? Oh my god, I don't even know. Where should I start with this? Okay, first off, where one, one point that really irks me. Parents nowadays, just they just baby their kids. I'm not kidding. They will give in to your demands. If you can whine and complain about it and cry about it for long enough, they're probably going to give you what you want. It's ridiculous. I mean, when I was... Oh god, like, you know, when I was four, five, six years old, if I wanted something and my parents said no, yeah, I would complain about it, I'd cry about it, I'd beg them. But they stood their ground, they said, no, you're gonna wait until you get it. And I had to live with that, and I'm fine with that now. Kids nowadays, on the other hand, if they want something, their parents will say no, they'll cry, they'll complain about it, but usually within half an hour, boom, they're gonna get what they want. Why? Because the parents have pretty much no self-control over themselves. It just... It amazes me. It's, it, honestly, parents, come on, really? If you want your kids to grow up to be the mature young adults that you want them to be, you're gonna have to say no, and you know you're gonna you're gonna have to set boundaries up. I mean, if you're a parent, if you're if you're a you know soon to be parent, make sure you instill that you install it in your kids right then and there. If they can't get something, make sure they don't until you feel they're ready for it. Because if you don't. You're gonna end up with a whiny, complainy kid who gets whatever the hell he wants. That is the first time I've actually sworn. I don't even know if I can be considered a swear. But, you know, it's just... I feel like now, society is just digressing. I don't... There's no sense of... I, I don't... I'd say... There's no sense of control anymore. Because... People just seem... People just do whatever they want. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter if it benefits someone else. As long as it benefits them, that's all that matters. And I hope to God we get this stuff straightened out pretty pretty soon. Or else I might think of checking in at a mental institute. Alright, second point. Gaming. Kids in games these days. Okay, let's see. Where do we start? Your five-year-old son does not need Call of Duty. He does not need an Xbox with live. He does not need a mic. He doesn't need any of that stuff. When I was five, I had, I think I had like a Game Boy and that was like the most advanced thing I had that, that was considered mine besides the computer, but there are restriction on, restrictions on both of them for how long I could use them. You know, nowadays parents are like, oh, well, I can't take care of my kid because I'm a, I'm a lazy parent. I got stuff to do. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll get him an Xbox. I'll get him an Xbox with live. I'll get him the, the little Call of Duty games. I'll give him a mic, I'll give him all that stuff, I'll plop him down in front of that thing for about four hours a day while I can go do what I want. No. Your kids aren't really going to be mature, I guess you could say, when they're older. I mean, if you're, if you're exposing them to the internet at a young age, along with a game where one of the main things is cussing besides quickscoping, their social skills are not going to be pristine, to say the least. It's going to be more like, I don't like this person, so I will cuss them out because that's the only thing I know how to do. They're not, it's going to be hard for them to make friends. Because obviously on Xbox, you don't need to know the person. You can just, you don't have to know too much. All you got to do is just play with them. If you like them, you send them a friend request and you do it all over again. It doesn't matter. But when it comes to meeting a person face to face, you got to deal with all sorts of variables. Obviously, everyone's got their online personas. I got mine. I got a couple online personas. Real life, it all kind of bundles into one, you know? You can't really... You can't really expect anything that you already know. Obviously, there's going to be the whole... The whole, you know, you know me like this, but there's also this other thing that I do, and, like, 20 other things that you have no idea about me. And... You know, if it's a friend and you realize something that you don't like about them and you decide that it's a great idea to 
you know, cuss him out, you know, you're gonna lose that person. I know this commentary makes no sense, but I'm just kind of going out with what my mind says. Another thing. I just, I don't think it's a great idea that you should give your kid any sort of electronic device with internet connectivity. I.e. Xbox, PlayStation, a PC, an iPad, I've seen, I've seen five-year-olds with, you know, I, I thought, it's like, you don't need that. You only got that because you probably complained. Great, I have my own, I have my own iPod, I'm recording on it right now. But I didn't get it through whining and complaining. I asked my parents, they said, we'll see, you'll have to wait. I said, okay, that was that. I got it eventually. But nowadays, it's like, you can't, you can't even, Kids just kids just get what they want. They want an iPod. They want an iPad. Well, guess what, mom and dad, you're gonna buy that child an iPad, and then you're gonna feel like crap afterwards because you just wasted six hundred dollars. Why? Because your whiny complaining child can't take no for an answer. It really, it honest to God, scares me how this generation will be growing up, and I'm part of it, which is even scarier. Just the fact that I'm here is scary. But really, if. If kids are going to be like this when they're older, I guarantee there's going to be a couple of buttons pushed, and I think one of those buttons may lead to a rather big explosion and a lot of angry people. So, really, if you're a parent and you're a child, it, yeah, scratch it. If you're, if, you're, if you're the parent, say no. You know, you got to instill that I am the boss, you are the under, under, underling. I don't know, I'm making up words now. You obey, you obey my command. Children, if your parents say no, take it, take the no, okay? You're not gonna like it very much. I don't like getting no for an answer. Granted, you know, sometimes it's more reasonable than others, but I'm like, okay, whatever, I'll live with it. You know, maybe some other time you'll change your mind. I don't, I don't badger them about it. I'm, I don't keep asking them every single day of the week over and over, hours on end, and I just, I just go with it. You know, you gotta roll with the punches, man. If, 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 if this, if this generation, I mean, it's already screwed for what it is, but if it gets even more screwed, I hope to God one of you guys comes to my aid, just in case I wind up on the floor twitching because the stupidity has killed me. But that's about it for today's rather random commentary. If you enjoyed, remember to like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and share. It helps me get out to more people. This is AAG signing off. I will see you guys later.